Okay, being no black folks, and basically we got irrefutable evidence that our object that we've been constantly seeing down at Nehemiah Station, and thanks to a friend that uh, from the internet, we don't know each other, but we communicate. It's no big deal. It's just internet, and we have irrefutable that cannot be re refuted or disproved of our object down at Nehemiah Station. Now check this out. Now I'll play the video, but this is our object that we have, and basically I have it on, don't have it on paint right now. I'll take it in and I'll zoom in and on it as much as I can here. What I do is I zoom in and on it here, and this is basically what you'll see if you go ahead and watch the video and you can take and cut and paste and do your own shots. And what you'll see when I take it to paint is you'll see these stars. We already know what I've showed you about the stars. So, and what it's starting to look at, when I even zoom in here, I got lucky on this. So these even looks almost look better when I had, than what I had from paint earlier. There's a star here. There's a star here. And there's a star here. And there's a star there. And it looks like a star there, and it looks like a star there. Now, the number one thing you have to realize is that the with our auroral being so thin at the South Pole, it's just like when I found the stars on up there that NASA was wondering what the heck that was plastic or metal on the ground, right? Well, it's the same thing down at our South Pole or North Pole right now because of our auroral. Let me go show you the thinness of our auroral. And real quick, I had it on paint here too. And basically, we can zoom in more on paint and we'll see our stars. As you can see there. And then I've got another one where I zoomed it in even more than this. I got to zoom. Let me drag this down. But basically, you've got stars right there that are up around whatever this darkness is here and bright illumination also so it may be basically a baby dwarf now let me show you another picture here too that uh i believe i've got it on on the paint thing to, to zoom it in but here is our object that basically is following behind and now i'm going to take it to nehemiah and you'll end up seeing this and as i scan up and you can see the roundness of it and basically this is there it's in the sky and I'll basically zoom down on the paint here so you realize that that's what we're looking for at is what I did is I zoomed in on this object that's basically you'll see it straight away on and we'll zoom back in here and you'll see it at the Niermeyer station video that we got. Okay, so that object's there too. So it's basically the red dwarf that's out there behind the sun. And I'll zoom out on this here so you understand and I'll go to right to the video. This stuff is all there in the sky at Nehemiah, okay? Because I zoomed in on that. Now here's a fresh auroral shot of the, I believe this is the North Pole here. And I'll know when I get down if I see, nope, but this is the South Pole. So you'll see how thin it is. You know, no, it is the North Pole. This is the North Pole. And as you can see, that's the North Pole auroral. And you can see how thin it gets. We always show you all these auroral shots. And this is from Space Weather and basically... This is all actual factual. That's how thin it gets. And then I'm going to show you how thin it is at the South Pole. And that's why you can see this stuff. And we did just get an M flare too. So I thought I'd show you that real fast. There's the data on the M flare. Okay. So we just got an M flare off the sun again. And then we'll go to Solar Artist. Pop this in. And I probably screwed up and... Nope. Now with it, the Royal being thin at the South Pole, that's why we can always see these objects very clearly down there at the South Pole and we get the right angle of shot to get caught in the webcam and we got it caught in the webcam today this is how thin the aurora is down there remember like I said the plastic and the metal that I proved that it was stars we know Mars's atmosphere is thin okay it's also thin at our North and South Pole here on Earth and here's our magnetospheres that's Earth the dark side of Earth here and that's us going through space and as you can see we got heated up pretty good and I'll give a fresh shot here in a little bit but as you see that orange that comes in, in the front here yeah we're going through, we're doing some wild twisting. So we got that 6.5 quake in Alaska, okay? So let me show you the proof on that. And there's your information on the 6.5, and this was USGS, and then they knocked it down to a 6.2 because they don't want people freaking out, okay? Magnitude 6.5, depth 6.21 miles. And then there was a bunch of 6.4s and stuff like that. Let me go to that data too also and show you that real fast. Now always watch on full screen, and the latest quakes that's what's the latest there but then we go down and we'll get the Alaska stuff here and as you see a lot of stuff didn't report after it started going and the actual factual 
will pop in here so in case someone doesn't know how to go to full screen or didn't go to it and if I can get it to come up we'll zoom in and we'll get it like 200% real fast I and mean, it just refreshed so we got our new report so you get whatever is coming up. It looks like it's got turkey there listed. And then we'll get down here and we're getting all screwed on time here a little bit on the video to get everything in as much as we can show you. And there's a bunch that didn't report and we're down at the Gulf of Alaska and you can see all this action that happened. Basically, we had a 6.5. And as you see, they didn't discount this one. 6.5, 6.5, and no matter what, we had 6.4s that were 10 kilometers deep here. And then we had 1, 2, 3, 4. And as you can see, these are in different locations here. Not far apart, but different locations. So we had plenty of, and even a 6.6 .6 actually, at 10 kilometers deep there. So Alaska and basically USGS is softening earthquake information upon you. Yes, why are they doing that? They have to answer for what they do themselves. I can't answer that for you, okay? I think it's to keep everybody calm, which is fine. I, I, that's, I'm okay with that. Keep everybody calm. Okay, now let's go ahead and look at what we got at Nehemiah. And remember, what you're going to see is irrefutable cannot be, and then you go all the way to the beginning of the video, and you'll see the same objects, and you can zoom in on yourself. Now, here we are at Nehemiah Station, and basically I'm going to step and I don't even know which way I'm going, if it's going frontwards or backwards when I first step. And I basically, I stepped it forward. So I'm going to step back, and you'll see our object come back. Now, the irrefutable is here. Because I zoom in on that object right there. And I will do that in a second here on the screen. And then I also go one more back. Okay? And I'll go, as you can see that there. Now, the best thing to look at it is basically looking at it, this one here. I've showed you both ones, but basically the clouds give us a good filter to be able to see it, okay? And basically you'll know that basically this is not anything, and I'm just going to zoom in real fast at, we'll go to 400 real fast, and as you can see, pretty much you can go back and watch my videos on this video here, back it up to my paint and everything like that. I don't touch it up and mess with any pictures, okay? Because we're going to go right in here, I'm popping right back to 400. And actually, I'll just pop the 400 real fast, and then I'll zoom to 900. Okay, we got our object there. And you're gonna, you should be able to see here, hopefully, the same thing you can see when you cut and paste this and take snapshots of this. You can zoom in and you'll see the stars. And it's actual factual that the atmosphere is thin down there because of the auroral. And then you'll end up being able to see, once you take a snapshot of this, and I can go right down here and grab my snapshot. So I think, matter of fact, I'll even go to, well, I can go to snapshot. And you zoom in on this, and right even here at 900%, you can see that star right there. And there's more than one star. And let me pop up paint real fast. And before I do that, just watch right here. There's a star right there, okay? And then I'll pop down to, what, like 150? And you'll see that this is that object there that I was zoomed in at, okay? And then... Basically, it's the same object that we keep on seeing that's dark that ends up being, I go back, and I'll, that, that you get that shot. Okay, nothing there. And there's not going to be anything except for the sun coming up, okay? Then I'll step forward. And what you're going to end up seeing too is you'll see with the other object that I show you that's behind. Now, there's our object there that's got the stars near it. And there it is there, dark, when it does its turnaround, and then it's on the sun. We've seen it for a long time until we really finally got a good look today because of that cloud. Okay, as this goes away, you're going to see what follows it, and what follows is it right there. You can't miss it. It's just irrefutable. Okay, now that object's in front, and whether it's putting off, uh, whether someone wants to sit up and say that, okay, no matter what, that this here object that you have here is and, but it's not because every object in space puts off the same shadow. Now, if it's some kind of a holograph of it, then we know exactly what it looks like when you zoom in on it, don't we? And basically, it's that there. And I've pretty much got, I believe, both of them down here. And basically, I can zoom in on this one here. I can just take this to paint right now in front of you. File, open it with paint. And we'll zoom in on it because it'll open it up in paint. And here we go. And we can go ahead and start zooming in on it. And then we'll drag down because we can move the picture around. Let me get it centered. And I've got it at paint and then I'll come out from the 700. And you'll see the star to the lower left. 
So basically the atmosphere is thin down there and you can see the star right there. You can see a star there and you can also see another star here. And it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five stars it looks like to me. Maybe even six. It's hard to tell if you can tell if this is another star right there or not. So there's your object there. Now, we're going to go ahead and look at also, this is what's trailing it, okay? And we can zoom in on this. So no matter what, even if someone wants to say that it's a hologram or holographic or something like that, that no matter what, if I lose it, if I go too much, let me zoom back out a little bit. And there you go. Get this here, and then we'll zoom in a little bit. No matter what you have this object so if it's a holograph then we get to see a good a look of what the heck it looks like and then it just I zoom too far but there's at 100 and you can see that object there and actually factually I just basically I can minus out of this and I believe I'm gonna be right back at the video if I keep minusing and we're at the video and I come down on size and there's your object and you can take a snapshot of this here. And we'll go down to 100 and there you go and that's that object right there. Totally visible. And I'll just go up to like, we'll go back up to like 150. And there's that object. And then we'll back up and you'll see the cloud do the actual. Matter of fact, I'm going to go down in size again real fast here. I'm going to get it to like 100. Just go back. And you're going to see the actual factual, and I'll just play it, that there's our object. Basically, it's a planet and some stars that are in front of the sun, down by the sun. And the atmosphere is thin enough down there, you can see it. And as it gets, we get a nice filter through the clouds down there, and you can see it, and you can zoom in on that object. And basically, I think I can go ahead and plop it again, because this is the second decision, as you can see. If I go like this, I actually went the wrong direction. You can see this one. This is the one you can see it the best with the stars. But I'll go ahead and give you a view of this here real fast because I opened up the video. I think I gave you the the 900 and we blew right in on the star the stars. You can see. We'll see what we can see this time. We'll zoom in. We'll go to the left and upper left for corner. And we have our. I'll get over to it. Because we are zoomed in at, at uh, and that's not it, because we are zoomed in at 900, and we'll find it here. It just takes a little while because we got, and there it is. So, that there is there, and you can take snapshots of that, and you'll end up seeing what I have ended up being able to get, like on this one here. That's what I zoomed in, I, and I can zoom in on this shot in this, and you get into that, and you can barely see the stars there to the left hand side. You can see those stars and then I'll zoom out and then you can really see the stars right about that okay and I'll basically just zoom all the way down I guess on the shot and that's what I get had what's what I zoomed in on and then I peel away from that and I think I'm back at the new minor cameras and I just hit down to 125 and there you go. And that's what our object is right there. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit start. I think we have. Now I'll just hit all. If I can get it out of the way that I can hit start and then I'll just hit play. And then you, you can watch the timer and you can see for yourself that all this stuff is actually there. And it's uh, the atmosphere is thin enough there, as you can see, because of our auroral. And it's because of the, it's the electrical magnification to the sun. It's pretty much kind of like a. A static tornado magnetical that we have and then we have our object too basically along there as you see basically you can't miss it all you got to do is back up the video and freeze it you can play with your video player and then I won't have to freeze and show you what was there then as you can see there's some other object that gives us a massive uh, shadow down there and you might station there and then it starts to go backwards and I don't know if I've had it playing backwards if I had it playing backwards so and yeah what they did is they gave it to us backwards this time Basically, I'm backing up right now. I finally got it to go play forward. So 
they played it to us backwards this time. 